it. Hello, Entschuldigung, uh, Neun Sprache in Deutsch, Sprache in English? Uh, a little bit. Okay, genau. <clears throat> Is it possible to be put through to Bernard Adam, the director, or Christian Weber, his assistant? Sorry, I don't understand your question. Can you uh, please uh, um, speak a little bit slowly? Sure. Um, Bernard Adam is the director who's dealing with my case in the Munich Lime AOK because there's been so many like horrendous mix-ups. Christian Weber is his assistant. For oh, what's, the, what's the name of, the, uh, of my colleague? Okay, so the two names are Bernard Adam. He is the director of your building. Can you understand uh, the, the name? I don't uh, know him. Bernard, B-E-R-N-A-R-D, mm -hmm. last name Adam, A-D-A-M. He is a... Ah, uh, Mr. Adam, okay, it's the uh, director, yes, I know. Mm -hmm. But um, Mr. Adam uh, doesn't uh, still work here at AOK. He doesn't work at AOK -OK anymore. Mm -hmm. Can you give me your insurance number so I can uh, connect uh, you to our mother colleague? Well, I sent him an email last week and he accepted the email. Mm -hmm. So when did he leave our car? Mm, I think uh, last month, I don't know. But if it's last but, month, but, why, uh, but if it's last month, how can you reply to an email last week? Mm -hmm. Can you give me your insurance number so I can show uh, your, your email, maybe? So your Mr. Adam still works there, that's a lie. Do you have an insurance number for me? Yes, or, I would like to, I'd like, I'd like okay. to, I'd like to talk to Christian Weber then, because Mr. Adam is being blocked. I, I mean, to be honest with you, Aoka is putting me in a murderous situation because he was sent legal documents that basically stipulates Aoka can put money in my bank account. Uh, stop, you uh, speak too, too slowly for me. Uh, what's the other name of my uh, colleague, Christian? Weber, V-E-B-E-R. W W E B E R. W. Weber. Yes. W E B E R. Mm -hmm. Okay, then please wait a moment, okay? And then can you uh, tell me your name again? Barry Fraser. He's well aware of who I am. Mm -hmm. Okay, then wait a moment, please.
Christian Weber. Ah, Mr. Fraser, yeah. hello. Uh, you you know you know my name by my voice. So, I really don't want to go around in circles here, but I have a very uh, high-profile lawyer in Cologne that has... Look, <clears throat> I saw the emails that you wrote, right? And it was pretty much a coordinated attack because when I left, um, I had a lawyer in Hanover that you're well aware of, correct? Yeah, I remember. You're right. And then I got attacked in Hanover, and then I got attacked in Gottingham, and then I ended up in emergency with almost brain damage. I then got sent to San Antonio's because I got hit with a baseball bat, all related to SAP. You're aware of me writing all those emails, right? Yeah, so basically, um, uh, that lawyer disengaged. The last email that he sent, because we were starting to communicate on GMX, my GMX account got blocked, as you remember. I told you that as well. And uh, you wrote it. Right. So basically, um, because I was getting no help in Germany and I was running out of money and because I work for SAP and when you work for a large organization like that, as I'm sure it is the same with AOK, they make sure you open a certain bank account, right? Because all these, com I'm sure AOK is affiliated to other banks as well. So they want to keep the money within the money, right? So I had to open a commerce bank account. What happened was, is that the email that I sent you saying that I was in Portugal and you replied saying, oh, if you're living in another country, uh, you don't get any health insurance. That's not what happened whatsoever. I got attacked, physically attacked in Dusseldorf with regards to SAP. I physically got attacked in Cologne with regards to SAP. I physically got attacked in Bonn. So I was getting bombarded with legal documents. Um, this Hanover uh, lawyer completely disengaged with me to, not now, please, not now. Um, literally, um, I went to Portugal to find a lawyer, Dr. Francisco, and um, uh, I turned out to be totally bogus. I had all my evidence stolen. Well, I had 750 gig of evidence against SAP, police attacks, people attacking me, and it got stolen. So I ended up in Portugal with no money. I got back to Germany anyway. From day one, Bernard Adam is saying, oh, SAP put money in your account in June, July that I never saw. Um, I actually sent Bernard Adam last week emails from Batman lawyer saying what commerce bank. So, I, so two weeks before I was supposed to go to court against SAP to get compensation, my AOCAB got blocked, my commerce bank got closed, and SAP was sending people after me. Um, and Batman has sent two letters, two very strong letters to Commerce Bank saying, according to Baffin, which is the federal court of uh, Germany regarding all banks, what you did is completely illegal. You need to open his account immediately. They have refused to reply. Baffin, the federal court of Germany, which is one of the highest levels of legislation in Germany, is struggling to get a response from Commerce Bank. And in Germany, you cannot just close a bank account. What I did do was, I sent all that documentation to Bernard Adam and I got a reply last week. What I'm saying is, and what I find highly confusing is, the girl that I spoke to before you said, uh, Mr. Bernard Adam was fired last month and he couldn't, so I don't know how he could have replied to my email last week. Uh, okay, it was uh, uh, very much in one time. Um, do you have um, uh, uh uh, at this moment, you have the new lawyer from Cologne. Correct, but my point is, is that Bernard Adam, I, I called him when I got back to Germany and I literally said, are you willing to let a human being die on the street because I'm old Krankengeld, I have a Sparkasa account, you can put it in there. And his only response was, my duty as Aoka is you need to give me legal documentation that you have no access to the apparent money from SAP that I never got access to and my bank account was stolen numerous times. I need legal legal documentation. I sent him those legal documentation from Batman and he replied. The thing is that I'm finding confusing is 
He replied to me within the last 10 days, and yet the girl that I just spoke to who put me through to you said, no, Mr. Bernard Adam was fired over a month ago. So I, I, that doesn't make any sense because I personally spoke to him on the telephone. So the thing is, two things. Is Mr. Adam fired or not? Or can I contact him? And secondly, you have, I sent two legal documents to Mr. Adam and the email didn't bounce. So he still works there. But what I'm saying is it, it, clearly, it clearly states on those legal documents that the Commerce Bank account was closed illegally. Mr. Fraser has had access to no money whatsoever and it's now gone to the federal court of Germany. And that is what Mr. Adam needed in order to put the Aoka money into my account and yet still nothing happened. And I've just been on the phone to Baffin now and Baffin is running around. Now, now bear in mind, this is now a federal level, right? They're running around trying to find out who's lying, who's doing what. I'm no, calling step by step. Also, um, Mr. Adam, no, he's not fired. Um, he is, I think he's fine. Um, he, he's still here. Um, so the, do the, you have a further account <coughs> meldung? From why, would, why would the girl, I mean, Christian, I didn't have the conversation with you, but the girl I just spoke to before I spoke to you said Mr. Adam was fired. Why would she say that if he's not fired? Why fired? Fired as in he was told to get out of Aoka. So, no, I think that was a misunderstanding. Uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's really shocking because, well, the thing is, look, I have two letters from Batman, right, that clearly state Commerce Bank is acting um, uh, illegally both uh, in German banking and in international banking as to what they did. So uh, Commerce Bank hasn't, and in, in Germany and in most European countries, you have to give a reason for closing account. The reason they're yeah. not... Yeah, the reason we they're not... the reason, yeah. Um, do, you, do you have a further, further Krankmeldung, uh, Arbeitsunfähigkeitsbescheinigung? Illness, certificate of illness, that's what... Yes, but my point is, is what my lawyer is saying is anything uh, Commerce Bank is saying that they closed an account for is illegal. When I was in Gottingen, when I was in Gottingen, police officers took copies of my bank accounts and statements and people were illegally using my account. What I'm saying is there was no notification of a bank closure. And in German law, even if you're going to close an account, you have to give someone notification that you're going to close an account. When I went to Porto, everything got blocked and I was left on a beach in Porto to die. What I'm saying is I've now forwarded Aoka clear legal documentation that states Commerce Bank acted illegally and they cannot do what they can do. Therefore, I have had, had, had no access to the funds that you're talking about and also my Commerce Bank account was hacked and used illegally. Now, Baffin, I've just been on the phone to Baffin for about three to four um, minutes saying, yes, what they did is completely federally against the law. I've also sent that to Bernard Adam. So what the, what Baffin said is, look, if Aoka owe you money and I told them everything, then they have no reason not to put it into another account. And I have a totally valid Sparkasa account. It is now December, six months later, and I still haven't had anything from Aoka. I've now been told by your staff that Bernard Adam was fired and clearly he's not because you just told me he's not. So I want to know what's going on with Aoka. You've had clear legal documentation that states a Commerce Bank is acting illegally and I've had no access to my bank account. And the thing is, they need to reply to my lawyer or Baffin and Baffin said in German law they have to have six weeks to get all their documentation together and the only way that in Germany can we talk with your lawyer is this, is this possible uh, no it's all done in writing. No, I don't want anything done by telephone because uh, no disrespect to you, Christian, but everyone has been lying to me from the start. Everything has to be in writing. Yeah, I feel better, better if I could talk in German. No, absolutely not. I will send you personally the two letters that Batman wrote that clearly states what they did is illegal. Nothing is done by telephone from now on. You know why? Yeah, but, that's, that's but, 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 but Christian, but Christian, Christian, 
Your staff have just blatantly lied to me about the fact Bernard Adam was fired. What trust do I have in any phone call from Aoka? Can you understand that? Your staff that put me through to you just said, the director of Aoka, Bernard Adam, has been fired. You're telling me that's totally not true. What faith do I have in a phone call from Aoka? Written documentation, anytime it's legal, needs to be done in writing. I have sent it to you over 10 days ago, stating what they did is illegal. Baffin is now running all over the place, trying to find out what's going on and why commerce... Ba you, the thing is, you can't just close an account because there's no funds in the money. Uh, there's no funds in the account. There was fraudulent activity on the account. Commerce Bank representatives were sending statements to their own address. They are in big financial trouble about what they did. So what I'm saying is I've never had access to any of the money you're talking about. And it's in legal documents. What I will do is the legal documents that I was. Um, and the thing is, the last time this happened where Aoka contacted my lawyer in Hanover, my lawyer in Hanover said, I'm starting to get harassing calls from Aoka. So I don't want that anymore. Everything has to either be done in email or in writing. I trusted you many times about phone calls and you've even contacted my doctor and the doctor in Munich, who you guys contacted, well, Bernard Adam contacted, now refuses to treat me as a patient. So the phone calls from Aoka have got to stop. What I'm saying is, I will email you those two documents that I sent Bernard Adam that clearly states Commerce Bank illegally closed my account. And I have a Sparkasa account, and the, I mean, we must be up to about seven or 8,000 euros now that uh, Aoka owe me. The thing is, I cannot go to, the, the court date against SAP was at the end of November. And in November, this is when all this happened. Commerce Bank did what they did, SAP did what they did, Aoka did what they did, and I couldn't attend the court date. If I get what's rightfully mine, which is my Krankengeld, I can go to court, I can get my compensation, and then most likely m me and you and me and Bernard Adam never have to see each other again. So I will send you those emails that clearly states I no had no access to no money, Commerce Bank closed my bank account illegally, this fraudulent use all over uh, Commerce Bank account. Um, I'll also send you um, the documentation from Baffin. I have a Sparkasa account that is totally valid. Stop, please, Mr. Fraser. Um, well, what, what can we do for you now? What you can do for me now is the cranking gel that you are owe me can go into a Sparkasa account. It's not essential that it has to go okay. into a commerce bank account. I have another legal bank account. What I will do is, and Bernard Adam was stipulating that it's essential, I will send you the legal documents from my Cologne lawyer that states Commerce Bank closed my account and refused me access to my funds illegally. I'm more than happy to do that. Okay, um, can, you, can you send us the, 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 the contact of your lawyer? I swear to God, if you phone my lawyer, I am going to be very angry with you, Christian. I swear to God. I am actually stipulating right now, under no circumstances, do you call yeah, my lawyer. because we don't have a further, further account mail on uh, um, sickness note. The last one was... Oh from my the goodness, you November. told me, you told me not to give you any sickness notes. Why shouldn't you give me any sickness note? Because that's what Bernard Adams said. I have been on sick. You guys are lying about everything. I've been talking to Bernard Adam the whole time. The next time I actually call you, I'm told he's fired and not there. And now I'm talking uh, to you. Sorry, Mr. Fraser. Everybody, nobody has a problem with this, but with you, it's always something special. So, hold, hold on one second. You, you, you think it's normal to, for an employee of yours to say that your director's fired and he's not? You think that's a normal thing to say? Well, I think that's the wrong information, man. It's dangerous. I wanted to speak to him, not you. Because he's the one that's been dictating, don't give me sick notes, don't do this. I can't give you anything until I find out about the comments. Yeah, for the, for the um, yeah, that's, uh, that's too... You, you tell... You, 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 I tried to talk... So look, okay. it's, it's now December. Please, Mr. Okay, Mr. Fraser, please contact your lawyer. 
He can contact us. We will tell him everything. No, everything nothing is done by telephone but anymore. No. When I talk to you, you talk to me for 20 minutes and I can't say any word that, that doesn't work. Really. Okay, I'm going to give you four Please points. Four points. Take a lawyer. Good Christian, four points. What sick notes, if I go to a doctor now, and I've been to numerous doctors, right? Can I get backdated sick notes that you need? Because I've gone to them and said that I'm sick. Well, and they've asked me. Yes, but what I'm saying is they said, do you need a sick note? And I said, no, Bernard Adam has told me not to get sick notes right now until Commerce Bank is fixed. Uh-huh. So, but if you're sick, then you get a signal from the doctor that's the usual way. Yes, I know, but the Christian, I'm not from Germany. When someone tells me to do something, I have to take it as gospel that it's true, right? Yeah, maybe, maybe if you, for example, if you, yeah, if there is a, it's not any too bad. Okay, so look, let me make yeah, this simple. Know. Make make it simple. If I can get you sick notes from the summer until now. Because I've been contacting... We have everything since, since, since the middle of November, since this time. And after that, there is... Okay, so if I can get... No i tell you what, just to make it easy. I will get you the sick notes from the beginning of November until today, right? So you're saying you've had sick notes from me since this started all the way up to the beginning of November, correct? Yes, I'm until the 11th of November. 11th of November, okay. So I will get you a signal from the 11th of November until today. What I will also send you, Christian Weber, because I, I obviously can't trust Bernard because I don't know whether... No, he's send with mail like before, that's okay. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, I obviously, I'm confused as to whether Bernard Adam is an, e an employee or not. I will send you personally the two legal documents from Batman that clearly state Commerce Bank are working illegally. I will also send you a sick note that covers me from the 7th of November until today. I will also send you Sparkasa details um, that allows you to put money into my account because Commerce Bank, as it looks, as it stands right now, is going to end up having to go to the federal court. Because what they've done is completely illegally, both in Germany and internationally. So I will do that today. Send the signals and then, then we can have a look on them. Yes. And please, and please send, if, you, if, you, if it's okay for or you, that's your decision, then you can uh, um, send us the, the contact dates of your, of your, of your lawyer. Yes, but, I, but the thing is, I am stipulating very clearly to you, um, uh, Christian. Is that no, what? I have a, had a, has a better English. You talk to the lawyer, the lawyer talks with us. And then no, one second, Christian. That's maybe the Chris, good way. Chris, Christian, it's not a good way because the times I've had two lawyers before, any time... You uh, anytime Aoka has got involved, you contacted my doctor, I'm no longer a patient there. You contacted my lawyer, I no longer have a lawyer. You contacted my lawyer in Hanover, I no longer have a lawyer in Hanover. I don't want that. All Bernard Adam wanted was give me physical evidence legally that Commerce Bank acted illegally and we will give you your cranking guild. I have given him that. He didn't reply. So what I will do is I will get you your sick note, I'll get you your two PDFs from my lawyer, but I do not want you contacting my longer lawyer under any circumstances. I'm giving you exactly what you need. And it's signed, dated, it's a PDF. I will actually forward the email from hey, my lawyer to you. No problem. But I yeah, but I'm stipulating clearly, um, um, um Christian, do not contact my lawyer because I've trusted that scenario a few times and it has backfired badly on me so it is the documentation that exactly you need i will give you my spark casa bank details i will give you so there's four things i'll give you my spark spark casa bank details i will give you the sick note from my doctor i'll give you the two letters from my lawyer that clearly states they're acting illegally um i will give you the the baffin code which is the federal uh, level of uh banking that oversees every single bank in Germany, I will give you the code that they're investigating Commerce Bank, so you have more than enough. And I'm just asking... Okay, then, that, I will do that the, today. The most important thing are the signals. Right. No, but it's... Um, but, 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 uh, See, this is why it gets confusing, because one day I speak to Bernard, and one day I speak to you, and it's it's a little bit different. All I'm saying yeah, is... But while, 
but he's fired, I got told. But all I'm asking is, I am doing exactly what you asked. Sick notes. The one thing, I had, a, I had about a 20-minute conversation with Bernard, right, when I managed to get back from Portugal. Because you wrote me an email saying, if you're living in Portugal, we no longer give you Krankengeld. You didn't give me a chance to reply. I was there for about two days. The only reason I went there was was to try and get a lawyer. That was it. And I got all my stuff stolen and I had to get back to Germany in an emergency. So uh, Bernard Adam was saying, yes, we can give you your Krankengeld even all the way back to June if you can prove to me that you've had no access to money from Commerce Bank. And that is exactly what I'm sending you in a legal PDF. Two, two legal PDFs. Yeah, okay. Um, Mr. Fraser... Please send the signals. That's that's what we need. No, no, no. But, but okay, I will do that. But what I'm saying is, and and this is the end of the conversation. Bernard Adams said, "We will not give you any money, even if it goes into next year, unless you prove to me that Commerce Bank illegally blocked your bank account." I have that evidence. That's what he said verbatim. Because Krankengeld will end in some time, maybe. Yes, but my lawyer, my lawyer from Hanover also said the Krankengeld, because I, the SAP, it's been proven that SAP did not legally fire me, is that I get Krankengeld until the summer of next year. That was legally proven. The whole point was, is I was supposed to go to court in November and prove all of this, and then, that, like, right before I'm supposed to go to court, that's when Commerce Bank pulled my bank account. So it was totally and utterly coordinated. So I will give you those things, those four things, um, um, Christian. I just, you know, if, if you can imagine, right, you're calling my company and you're talking to my director and your staff member told me that your director is fired. What kind of confidence am I supposed to have when you tell me he's still an employee? What am I supposed to think? Really, what am I supposed to, after everything that's gone on, the racial abuse, the attacks, I am trusting you guys. And one of your I staff members know, said that. He actually said so, so, so much um, since uh, we met us the first time, I don't know. No, um, but Bernard, what I'm, uh, sorry, uh, Christian, what I'm saying is he, she physically said, and I have a guy uh, stood right next to me, physically said... I get physically said, Mr. Bernard Adam has been fired, you no, can no longer contact... Uh, yes, yes, I, I heard it before, yes. I mean, what, what, is, what, what am I supposed to think about that? That's a blatant lie, no? No, but that's the first time I heard it. Is he still working there uh, or no? Maybe. Um, maybe I'm wrong in my informed, but I don't know. I but he, he but no, but she yesterday. said he was, he was fired over a month so ago. I, I, I saw him yesterday. But okay. Right. Well, he's, he's here. Yeah. Well, can you understand why my my I have no confidence? Like, if someone is saying that to me that I've never spoken to me before, why would they say that? But anyway, it's besides the buy. I will send you those emails today, and you have all the information you need. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's do it like this. Okay, I will send it to you by end of day today. Thank you. Okay. Goodbye.